the world is a changing place and it's changing rapidly. And with that, the people of the world are changing rapidly. The cultures, the practices, the values and ideals that have been held true by humanity for millennia are beginning to be challenged. Some of them are beginning to crumble while others are being bolstered in new, mysterious ways. There is a shift happening from the weight and heaviness of 3D reality into the light body of 5D. Are you shifting? Let me share some signs with you and if you resonate with these, if you identify these within yourself, you better hold on tight. You are moving forward into your destiny at a great rate of knots. Come and let me tell you all about it. Well, hello, you gorgeous soul. Look at you, radiating with a dream to fulfill. Doesn't it feel exciting knowing that there's a dream in your heart and no matter how wild it is, you are moving forward towards it? If you've ever doubted that, friend, it's time to turn that around. The dream in your heart is the promise of destiny within you. It's why you are here. It's the dream of your spirit, the purpose, the calling, and the promise of your spirit. Now your human thinks it knows how to get there. Your human wants to be the driver, it wants to rule the race, and it wants to show up and control every moving piece because it's excited by the dream. But if the dream belongs to the spirit, then who is it that knows how to get there? It's the spirit, it's not the human. And friend, today I want to share with you all about ascending to 5D reality. But before I do that, I need to tell you a little bit about what it's all about. My name is Ben. Welcome to Elevate. A short bit of admin before we get into it. You will find me here every single day encouraging you along these lines, friend. So if you love this sort of content, make sure that you are subscribed. Share the videos around. A rising tide lifts all the boats in the harbour, friend. So pay it forward. Get on board the karma train. Now, 3D to 5D. Have you ever felt the weight of the world? There's a saying, in fact, it's that the weight of the world is upon your shoulders. Have you ever felt that way? You just feel, oh, there's a plane coming in. Oh, gorgeous. I live in a little rural countryside area and there's a, um, an airstrip locally and uh, so often little planes with um, hobby pilots, they come in and they stop at the little cafe here for breakfast or whatever it might be. It's so beautiful when they come in and come out. Sometimes it feels like they're flying right above the property here. It's, it's amazing. Anyway, uh, let's redeem the time, friend. I'm just back from a week out with COVID and my brain just feels like, it just feels like wet, spongy cotton wool. So I'm relying on the spirit here and the leading of the spirit to articulate this because I can't string a sentence together right now to save myself. The brain fog is real. But friends, let me share this with you. See, we live in a world that is heavy and weighty and the expression, the weight of the world upon your shoulders really just describes the 3D reality we live in. Everything is energy. And when you get focused on the problems, the situations, the manipulation, the cheating and the scandals and all of the skullduggery of life, what you are focusing on is the energy of 3D. It's weighty and it's heavy and it's just yuck. We all get bogged down in it, don't we? I mean, you've only got to go to a grocery store and see a group of people congregating in the corner, a group of maybe school mums and dads, and they're all talking about whose kid's the best and whose kid's the worst, and did you hear this about that person, and did you hear about that person at that party on the weekend, and did you hear about this? And we get bogged down, and this stuff consumes our lives, and people wonder why they don't move forward. You have to begin to transcend all of that, and when you do, something happens you begin internally to shift from the weight and the heaviness of all of that into your light body, where your DNA is activated and upgraded, where you begin receiving downloads from the universe, where you just have intuitive thoughts. And there's knowledge there, and it's never been there. It just It's nothing you've learned. It, it's just with you. What that is, is the shift. What that is, is the experience of the shift. 
And it's important because the 5D reality is where all of your dreams are. And I want to tell you, it's your dream that chooses you. You don't choose your dream. This is why I call you a chosen one. You are chosen by your dream friend. So let me share with you the signs that you are in fact transitioning from the weight and the heaviness of a 3D reality into the light body and the activation of 5D. The first one is heightened sensitivity because everything is energy. You might find yourself with heightened sensitivity towards the daylight, towards extremes in temperature, towards the volume of things. You might find yourself becoming really sensitive to the energy of people around you. You can no longer walk into a crowd of people and be focused on you because the energy of others comes into your perception. Everything is energy. And in the lightness of 5D reality, where your dreams are fulfilled, it is energy that you work with. So it stands to reason then that in the transition, you become heightened in your awareness of energy. That always happens by sensitivity. The next thing is a new depth of perception. See, we all perceive of things, but have you ever had a really deep moment of perception? And it's been right. You will find yourself having those sorts of occasions increase where you just know something. You don't have to explain it. And you realize inside of yourself, I don't even have to understand it. I just know. When you experience that in your life, when you just know that you know something and you don't have to fight people about it and you don't have to fight other things and it just is, it's okay. It's, it doesn't matter. It just, that's how it is. When you have these moments where this this perception is really deepened within you, you are starting to move in the spirit, not the human. You are starting to experience the separation of spirit and self. And as you begin to follow your spirit more, your human goes to the place where it was always supposed to have been, in the experience, not in the control room. It's your spirit that belongs in the control room. Judgment is gone. It just doesn't matter anymore. Have you ever felt this? Sometimes there might be things happen that they really used to trigger you and even now you see it and you think, oh man, well, oh well. It's not that you don't care. It's not that you've given up caring. It's not that you don't see things for how they truly are. It's that the judgment has gone. You recognize it profits you nothing to label things as good and bad and this and that. You recognize that your judgment of things only labels them and commands them to be that thing. Judgment needs to go when you ascend to 5D. You can see things for how they truly are and you recognize, I don't have to call this good or bad. It just is what it is. I'm not judging it anymore. And finally, you know you just know that you know that you're always provided for no matter what. Have you experienced this in your life? What an incredible uh, awareness to come into, awakening to have, that no matter what, you are provided for. When you are in faith, when you're doing your best, when you don't have your hands all over the controls, but you're allowing your, your, your human to be in the experience, not controlling, and you're showing up for yourself, you're doing your best to be your best. You're focusing on the spirit. When all of this happens, when you're moving from 3D to 5D, you just know you are always provided for. It doesn't matter that you don't know where the next paycheck is coming from because somehow it just always works out. It doesn't matter that you don't know how that dream is going to unfold because somehow it just works out. It doesn't matter that you don't understand why that was so unfair. You've got no idea how that's going to happen. You just know that the story of your life demonstrates the unfolding majesty of the divine and the universe and that it works out for you always. And that is why the scripture says in Romans 8, 28, we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. The purpose of God is the dream in your heart. Whoop, the old battery lights come on. I've got to wrap it up. I love you, friend. I'm thankful for you.